Hi guys, it's Ben here and here are my player ratings for Leicester City 1, Liverpool 2 as the Reds win the Asia Trophy in Hong Kong. So after Leicester really dominated Liverpool for the first 10-15 minutes of this game, they went ahead through Slomani, Liverpool rallied, they got back into it through Mohamed Salah goal, which was kind of against the run of play, and then a wonderful, wonderful strike from Philip Coutinho, won the trophy for the Reds in the end. It was a very lively first half, very enjoyable, very entertaining to watch, second half not so much, it died down a bit, it was a bit of fatigue set in, some players were given longer shifts this time, it wasn't just 11 on, 11 off. 45 minutes each. Quite a few players played longer than an hour. Let's get into the player ratings. Loris Karius did okay. There was one incident, as it always seems to be with him, where Matip passed the ball back. A sloppy back pass for Matip, but he said to put it into Rose Ed and he gave it right to Albright and he was lucky that he wasn't punished. Couldn't do much for the goal. Made a couple of good saves after that. I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Alexander Arnold also made one sloppy mistake. He pretty much played Jamie Vardy in for what should have been the leveller in the second half, but other than that, Pretty tidy from him, didn't get forward as much as he often does, but there were a couple of occasions when he did, so he gets a six for this one. Not the most convincing performance from Joel Matip, the back pass to Karras being case in point, it really put him under pressure, took too long with that Matip, and indecisiveness cost him there. Other than that, got troubled a bit by Mahrez early on, wasn't particularly impressive, I'll give him a five. Dan Lovren also had his issues with Mahrez in the first 10, 15 minutes, he packed him down on one occasion, other than that, he was okay. I think second half he improved. A lot of commitment, but a few fouls in there too. He'll get a six out of ten. James Milner just wasn't really involved in the game very much. He was hauled off on 40 minutes, uh, so he gets a five out of ten. Adam Milana, again, wasn't hugely in the game. The first sort of 20 minutes bypassed him, but he grew into it as Liverpool did. He gets a six. Genie by Adam, likewise, again, he did actually play 65 minutes, so a bit of a longer shift than Milana, but Nothing spectacular from him. Neat and tidy on the ball as part of some nice sequences, but overall just a 6 out of 10 display. Philip Coutinho, where do you start? Um, lovely assist for Salah's goal. Lovely little dink through ball, which Salah was right on a plate for him, but still a nice finish. And his goal, which won it, was just vintage Coutinho cut inside on his right foot. Defenders know exactly what he's going to do, but they just still can't stop it. I think I'm going to have to give Coutinho a 9 out of 10. Just a, a goal and assist, and just showed his class once again. Mohamed Salah gets another goal as a Liverpool player. Uh, he was Dangerous, always on the move, always looking for that long ball to come through. He was always coming inside, he played through the middle at one point. But yeah, really impressed with his movement, his desire, giving options all the time. And he took his goal really well. Still one or two moments where his end product wasn't quite bang on, but you know, he scored a goal and was very lively. So let's give him an 8 out of 10. Diva Carigi played wide left, really couldn't get into the game. I'd have to give him a 5 out of 10. Firmino, kind of likewise, a bit more involved than he has been, but never really carved out any real chances for himself. There was one opportunity when he looked like he wanted to bend it around Schmeichel but didn't get much on it. Just ended up going right down his throat. I'll give him a 6. Substitutes, Moreno came on in the first half. Looks pretty overweight, just a bit like Flanagan, uh, the right back on the other side. Moreno doesn't quite look in good shape yet. He's going to have to get in good shape if he's going to complete a transfer anytime soon. Got forward quite well, did okay. Not much to do defensively, 6 out of 10. Jordan Henderson came on at half time and was masterful yet again, just as he was against Crystal Palace the other day. He was spraying some ridiculous balls. He looks so fit, setting a tempo. It's just what I love seeing Jordan Henderson do. It's an absolute pleasure to watch when he's playing like this. I think I'm going to have to give him an 8 out of 10 again. Daniel Sturridge also came on at half time, had some decent moments. Again, a couple of decisions I didn't agree with. There was one time when he could have played it to Woodburn on the edge, but he went for the audacious cross. Wasn't quite there, but some nice touches, and he does look very fit, as Jürgen Klopp says, so it's another 6 out of 10. Marco Grujic had a better game. I thought he wasn't great against Palace after a really impressive Tramir display. He was okay. One really acrobatic effort when I think Henderson crossed the ball in from wide, and he had to really improvise to get a shot anywhere near goal, and it was very close. I was actually quite impressed with him. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Ragnar Klavan actually were a couple of moments when he provided some vital interceptions. There was one when Vardy was cleaned through. I mean, albeit... Kevin may have been to blame for Vardy being allowed through, but he recovered so well, got a foot in there, denied him. I think he played pretty well, caught himself nicely, 7 out of 10 for Clavin. Now moving on to the guys that came on a bit later, Joe Gomez wasn't really in it much. He came on on 56 minutes and did okay, he was fine, he, 6 out of 10. Ben Woodburn too, he didn't get involved too much, um, probably was a bit too crowded out to be honest with you, I'd probably give him a 5 out of 10. Slanky came on on 65 minutes and gave the ball away a couple of times, he's playing wide left so that wasn't particularly suited to him, I'm going to have to give him a 5 out of 10. Ryan Kent, impressed again, he really really did, he took on Christian Fuchs one time, step over and bang past him, he's got a lot of pace, he really has got something about him Ryan Kent and I, I'm, I'm sure he will go out on loan this season but maybe next year he might make the step up to the Premier League or maybe even to Liverpool, but yeah I was pretty impressed, 7 out of 10. John Flanagan came on with 5 minutes to go. 
I don't remember him doing anything at all. I'll give him a five. So there we have it. Liverpool win this pre-season tournament against Leicester City. Two decent outings for the Reds. Evan, bar one or two, looks pretty fit, looks at it. Salah has taken very little time to settle in. Obviously, you can't read too much into pre-season, as we always stress, but I'd rather him be scoring goals and playing well than not, because sometimes you can tell instantly if someone just doesn't quite have the right touch, doesn't quite get up to speed with it right away. Salah has done. Coutinho looks absolutely on fire. Henderson, thankfully, is back and from what I can glean, he looks pretty bloody fit. Everything else seems okay. The defence still a bit shaky. Karras still not quite confident enough to be between the sticks for Liverpool. I don't think there's any danger of Mignolet being troubled anytime soon. The Matip and Lovren partnership wasn't brilliant today. I think we are still crying out for another one in that position. I think we all know who we want and who we might now get. More on that to come on this channel. But Liverpool have won today. They've come from behind. They showed a bit of character. They showed some good signs. I can't complain. Man of the match goes to Philippe Coutinho, a lovely assist and a wondrous goal. It's an obvious pick. Henderson was obviously a close second, but you can't look past Coutinho for that. Leave a comment with your man of the match and your thoughts on the new signings and just pre-season in general so far. And also where we stand with Van Dijk. How are you feeling about that now that he's on strike? We will talk about this on this channel very soon. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me and follow my other socials. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.